Hello, good day, my very good friends and business partners. I hope you are enjoying your FES business. There is your humble servant, Jeff. So you realize that in the latest communiques released by the company, all members are advised to henceforth withdraw their FES points through USDT using the network um, Tron, that is the TRC20. So today I will take my time to take you through how to withdraw your precious FES points via USDT using the Tron network, that is using the TRC20 of which the company is advising all members to use. We are using the TRC20 because of the relatively cheaper um, price per transaction. So you realize that they only deduct $1 per transaction as compared to um, Bitcoin and the uh, other coins. And um, the TRC20 of the USDT is a bit faster too. So I will teach you how to withdraw your money using the TRC20, that is the USDT TRC20. The exchange you will be using is Binance. You will be using the Binance exchange. So um, the first thing you will need to do is to open your web browser. In fact, we are using computer for today. In the next video, I will teach you how to do that using your mobile phone. So um, the first thing you need to do is to create a Binance account. I will put a link in the description. You can click on the link to create your Binance account if you don't have an account. I already have an account, but creating the account is not all that difficult. I will do a video on that for you. So you can click on the link in the description to create your own Binance account to get all the coins, including the USDT um, coin. So all you need to do is to open your web browser. Today we'll be using the Google Chrome browser. Once your web browser is opened, you need to open your exchange. And as I said today, we'll be using the Binance exchange. So I will open my exchange. There's the Binance and I will need to log into my Binance account. How do I do that? If you come to the top right corner here, you will see log in. You will see log in. If you are a new user and you happen to click on the link in the description, all you need to do is to click on register. Then you follow the prompts. But because I already have an account, so if you already have an account, all you need to do is to click on what? Log in. You click on log in. They will ask of your email or mobile phone. So if you register with email, you need to provide your email address here. If you register with mobile phone, you need to click on this one to provide your mobile phone, um, your mobile phone number. Here, you can see the country code here. This is not my country code. I am in Ghana, so I will need to change this country code. That is, I will need to change the country to Ghana. So once I click on the small arrow here, you will see a list of countries. All I will need to do is to scroll so I see Ghana. So you can see Ghana here with the country code being plus two, three, three. So I will click on that one. Then I will need to key in my mobile phone number here. That is the number I used to register the um, Binance accounts. The phone number is 0546400568. Then all I will need to do here is to key in my password. That is my login password.
So once I am done, all I need to do now is to click on log in. Click on log in. I will wait for the page to load. So you can see security verification. What this means is that you can see a piece of a puzzle here. I will need to carry this one, that is this piece here, to fit into the key here. So all I need to do is to slide this um, piece of puzzle to fit into the key here. So I will slide my mouse here. I will slide it so it fits accurately into the key. Then I will release the mouse pointer. Once I'm done, once I'm done, the home page will open like this. As you can see, there is the home page of the Binance platform. So all I will need to do now, remember, I want to copy my USDT TRC20 wallet address and put it into my FES account. So all I need to do here is to click on wallets. So if you come to the top right corner here, we have wallets, we have orders, we have um, the personal particulars here, we have notifications, download and the rest. Remember the first one is what, wallets. So I will put the mouse pointer on the wallet. Once I put the mouse pointer on the wallet, there will be a drop down menu. From the drop down, we have overview, we have fiat transport, we have margin and the rest. Our interest is in fiat transport. So you select fiat transport. You click on fiat transport. Once the fiat transport is opened, let's wait for it to open. So once it is opened, you can see a lot of the coins here. We have BTC, we have Ethereum, we have BNB, we have BUSD and the rest, a lot of the coins here. Remember, our interest is in the USDT, that is the theta, USDT, that is where our interest is. We want to withdraw using our USDT. So all you need to do now is to come to the horizontal line of the USDT. So when you come to the right side of the USDT, you can see buy, you can see deposits, you can see withdraw, you can see trade and, and then convert. So all you need to do is to click on deposits. We want to deposit money from our FES into this um, Binance account, that is the USDT. So you need to click on deposits and wait for it to open. So once it is opened, you can see a wallet address here. In fact, there is not the wallet address we need. By default, the USDT selects the ERC. By default, it selects the ERC. That is the Ethereum part network. We are not interested in the Ethereum network of the USDT. We are interested in the Theta network. Sorry, the Tron network of the USDT. That is the TRC. So um, at the right side, so the first one is BEP2, we have BEP20, we have ERC20, we have OMNI, and then we have TRC20. So we will select the TRC20 here. Remember by default, all wallet address of TRC20 begin with a capital T. By default, wallet addresses of TRC20 begin with a capital T. So once we click on the TRC20, you can see that my wallet address has changed and the first letter is what, T. There is a copy sign here. So if you want to copy the wallet address, all you need to do is to click on this copy sign beside the wallet address. So I will click on the copy sign so you can see address what copy. Once you click on it, you can see address copy. Now, what do I need to do? All I will need to do is to minimize this screen. I will minimize this screen. Then I will log into my FES account. Let me log into my FES account using the um, Microsoft Edge um, web browser. So I open my Microsoft Edge. 
this hope you are following. If you are stuck anywhere, my contact is in the description. You can PM me for further details. So um, all I will need to do is to type the website address. Type the website address in the address bar here. And remember the website address of FES is FESGL.com, as you can see here. That is the website address. So I will wait for the website to open. Once it opens like this, at the top right corner, you need to sign in. Please, if you don't know how to sign into your FES account, if you don't know how to sign into your FES account, I have a video on that. I will put the link in the description so you can learn how to sign into your FES accounts. You provide your username and then your login password. Once you are done keying in your login password, you need to check this small box here beside the please read and agree. You show that you have agreed to the terms and conditions. Then you click on log in and wait for the um, um, home page interface to open like this. Once it is open, there is my home page. All I need to do is to come to the top right corner here. So you can see Jafet1 being the username, VIP1, then we have my order. So you click on my order here. You click on my order. We are interested in the features at the far left. That is those features outlined by the blue background. So you go to the far left. The first one is financial center. The second one is account setting, my referrals and the rest. Our interest is in account setting. So you click on account setting to open the drop down menu. Once it opens like this, all you need to do is to click on personal particulars. You click on personal particulars. This will display your personal particulars. So you can see the BTC information and then the USDT information is blank. And you realize that I copied the what? The USDT. That is the TRC20 network of the USDT. So I will need to key in my USDT information here. Remember, we have already copied the USDT information from our Binance exchange. So all we need to do here is to right click and click on what? Paste. So you need to paste this address here. Our, an alternative way is to click on control plus V. This will paste the address. So you can see the address is now here. There is the USDT address. And in fact, we will need to key in the BTC address too. We need to leave no um, space here. So all we will need to do again is to go back to our Binance. We go back to our Binance, go to wallet again, fiat and deposit. Sorry, fiat transport rather. We need BTC wallets to key in there. So we click on fiat transport, wait for it to open. So the first one is what? BTC. So we click on deposit under BTC. Once we click on deposit, you can see the BTC wallet address here. All you need to do is to copy that one to minimize the page, then come to BTC information and key it in using control plus V, you can do that. So once we are done, you scroll down, you will see execute, you will see execute here. So click on execute to modify, you. so you can see modifications succeeded. So we have successfully modified our what, our particulars. We have keyed in our BTC information and our what, USDT information. And remember this USDT information, that is, this USDT is the um, Tron network, that is the TRC20, which the company is advising all members to what to use. So once we are done, once we are done, if you want to withdraw, now you can come to financial center here. When you click on financial center, that is the first feature at the far left. 
which has been outlined by the blue background, you will see withdrawal. So you click on withdrawal. So you, you realize that we have 40 FES points in this account. We have 40 points in this account. If you want to withdraw all the 40 points, all you do is you come to category. What category that is, what wallet are we withdrawing our precious FES points into? We are withdrawing the points into USDT. Remember the company is saying we shouldn't use the BTC anymore because the charges of the BTC are so high and it delays. So we will be using the USDT. So you click on USDT. Once you click on it by default, the wallet address that we keyed in at our personal particulars will be displayed here. So you can see the wallet address here. Then amount receivable, that is the amount we are withdrawing. We are withdrawing 40 points from this account. Then here, all you need to do is to key in our security code. 